Hello guys, this is your boy Penny Den, and today we're going to be doing a review. Before I do the review, I would like to say I am sincerely sorry that I haven't done a video lately. That's because if you're 16, you might notice that GCSEs have basically come to the end, but you 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 understand that GCSEs is one of, the, one of the important days of your life, basically. I've been doing revision, I had, this last week, I had five, five exams, and you might say, um, you might think, well, that's not a lot. Well, I had English, I had maths, and I had geography and product design. I actually had two maths, so basically that adds up to uh, five. But basically, they took a long time to do, and well, I'm predicted a C in maths, a C in product design, and um, geography and English. I'm predicted D, but I'm not very good with English because I have got a problem. But I won't say about that. Um, but yep, I'm sincerely sorry, and uh, for the apologies, I'm going to be doing. The review of the other hall class, not not hall class, sorry, warship. That's it. And um, if you watch my uh, onslaught video, which is a uh, better warship, you understand I had two of the um, warships, onslaught and this one. And this one is a very special one to me. Um, but uh, I lot. Like, uh, but on the onslaught. Review. I had so many comments on there. I was amazed. I had like, I had six comments. You might think that's not a lot, but to me it's quite a lot because I only usually get one or two comments on videos. And the most comments I've got on one video was my first video. Well, oh, sorry, I hit my control there. What was the Penny Tank review? And I think I had like fifteen comments and. Thank you guys, thank you so much. And I'd also like to say thank you to all you who have subscribed then. I've got 41 subscribers now and I am peaking up to 100 now. So I've only got about, this is my fourth month, so about eight months until the year is over. So after that year, I would like to get to 100. So keep on subscribing. Um, but back to the video. This is the other hall, um, warship class, and on the side is a class 42 warship diesel D817 Foxhound BR maroon. Yes, it is a maroon color one. If you don't know what maroon is, that is red color. It is not like raw male color. That is. Uh, a very dark red and I don't know why it's called maroon I don't know why they couldn't call it dark red but maroon sounds better but yep it is a very nice locomotive and I think it is fantastic even on sort was fantastic so as you can see it is the old style packaging um, as, as you've seen on on sort it wasn't DCC ready so you have to sold Soldier it in, take it to shop or do it yourself. I'll, I'll probably take it to the shop because I'm not very good with electronics. Um, and please comment below, what does blue ribbons mean? Does that mean super detailed, like what Hornby say? Or is it just uh, saying that it is a special edition? Um, so I open it this side, with the stronger with this hand. There's the outer box, and inside you get the postcard with brief history on the back and you, and as you saw in my onslaught review it was designed by a German locomotive um, which is V200 class but I'm not very interested in that um, because I'm not very interested in the German locomotives um, so I'm going to put this to one side and in the postcard you get um, a spare part sheet and I reckon yep you get the same bodies as you get on Onslaught sheet. So you get Fox Sound, Onslaught, Eclipse, and Monarch. I think that's how you um, say it, Monarch. Um, and in here you've got some details. You have 
got these mud flaps or mud guards or whatever you want to call them. Basically, they just go on the front of the locomotive. I'll show you how um, what they look like when they're on the front of the locomotive. Um, I'm, I, w I did say that in my other uh, review of Onslaught, but I've forgotten to do it, so I'm sorry about that as well. And you've got another one there for the other end. Um, as you can see there, you've got the same details and bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. It's going to be quite a short one because I, yeah, uh, this locomotive is exactly the same as Onslaught, just in the different delivery. Um, so yeah, and you've got the couplings. And as you can see, there's the old style box, power signing box. And if you look at, um, on the back, you've got two holes. So you get two fingers, and you just slide it out like that. Grab hold of the locomotive, keep the paper on it so you don't break it. And put the polystyrene box to one side, and you've got this quite a nice foamy material. And I'm going to just quickly put the details to one side. Come on. Um, just going to quickly put that to one side like that. And there we are. And now to the locomotive, and look at her, she is nice. She is so nice. You, actually, I, I didn't tell you this, but you know what these locomotives reminded me of? If you like Thomas Tank Engine, which I think some of you do, I think you could agree with me with this. It does look like Diesel 10. With pin um, with that pinchy on top, but if you look at it, it does actually look these um look like a diesel ten sort of class because you've got two wheels here, and diesel ten did have two wheels or four wheels on each hand, so it's diesel ten locomotive, um, but without the pinchy. Um, but as usual, you get two drivers at each end, I do not know why, Is, was this a shunting locomotive or was this or did Batman just do this to add extra people if if they'd done it to add extra people, what I'll do is probably take the body off and put uh, take these these guys out and put them in my other locomotives like the two class 20s which will be actually pretty nice um, there's the name Fox Sound Warship class with the early emblem, not the late crest, and there's the name plate or whatever making number. I, don't, I, I can't really see; it's very tiny, but very good detail. Very good detail. Um, if anyone can tell me where I can get etch name plates for all my locomotives, like um, I have the Pioneer Tank, where, where it doesn't have name plate, but like what, um, the Hall class. My old Evening Star and all my other locomotives, which have name plates. Can anyone please describe um, um, comment? Sorry, um, how can I get um, not custom, but where can I get uh, etched name plates? Because I would like to put etched name plates on my on this locomotive and the other warship. As I said on the other one, I. I think these had two engines because they, as you can see they have two fans and two exhausts and I understand the, mo um, the prototype Deltic did have two tug engines and well they um, they had um, they had two fans and two exhausts so obviously I think these were these had two engines probably small engines not tugboat engines probably like little car engines, well not like car engines but smaller tugboat engines maybe. Um, there's a number D817 and obviously same as Onslaught you get sprung buffers and not any M coupling and I think I showed you these but the screws are underneath um, well on top of the coupling but underneath the body so what you probably have to do is either well, I think there's only one way you can do is to take the chassis, um, this bit off, and unscrew it by um, like that. 
but I'll, pro I'll probably do a set, set video on how to put oh sorry I hit the camera there how to put these things on I'll probably do a separate video probably I'll put it on like Tuesday or something like that just gonna put the camera back so yeah um, same again not a lot of difference the, um, these have small yellow ends I think there's a locomotive called Champion and that had full yellow ends and I think that doesn't really look very nice so I went for the small yellow ends but still very nice I understand that Batman are really um, pre-releasing the warship classes they are um, I think there's going to be BR Maroon and BR Green I think they are different names to um, on Sort on Fox and I think they're going to be uh, and other names, but I understand that the class 43s are coming out as well. And comment below what's the difference between these class 42s to the 43s because I can't really tell the difference. But please tell me, um, maybe the engine difference or whatever. But I'm not professional on these classes, um, so yep, a fantastic model. And I'm going to be doing a running video probably Monday like after my exam because my exam fi um, starts at 1.30 and it's an hour long so it's going to finish at 2.30 so I've got like 6 or 7 hours left um, to do whatever so I'm going to do a running video. I can't do it today because it is actually on my clock 5.27 but the, obviously when I'm uploading this it'll probably be uploaded at 6 or 7 o'clock depends who's on the computer, even my dad or my brother <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you guys for subscribing who have subscribed, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and please leave a like on this video and I hope to see you soon guys keep up the good work and I'll see you later, I'll probably do more reviews or maybe a layout update. Probably, maybe, I don't know yet. But uh, it'll be very soon. So, I'll see you later guys. Bye.